All right, so now that you have your repo set up, we're going to go ahead and create our first workflow. Uh, so for our first workflow, uh, we're just going to do a basic Hello World example. And the goal of this workflow is just to uh, introduce you to the folder structure uh, that you need for your workflows, as well as just show you how to set up the basic syntax and how we can go ahead and execute and view the results of our actions in the GitHub UI. And so for GitHub workflows to work, uh, GitHub expects your workflow files to be defined in a particular folder structure. And if your YAML files uh, for your workflows are not in this folder structure, GitHub will not recognize them. You won't be able to execute them. And so as an example, if we go to our actions tab uh, in the GitHub UI, you'll see that there is no GitHub workflows currently set up on our repository. And so to set up our first workflow, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to our IDE and we're going to set up that folder structure. Uh, so GitHub expects a dot GitHub folder and inside this folder, a subfolder called workflows. And now, so the syntax of your workflow files is going to be YAML. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and create a new file and we're going to call it hello world YAML. All right. And so now for our workflow file, um, there's a few uh, basic components that you always have to have defined uh, for your workflow file to be recognized by GitHub and to be uh, executable. And so the first piece is the name of your workflow. Um, so this is what's going to be shown in the GitHub UI. And so we're just going to call it hello world. And then the next one is your trigger. And so this is defined by the on uh, keyword. And so your trigger is what is going to be the actual item to make this workflow run. Um, there's various different, um, there are a variety of triggers uh, that can be used for your workflow files. Um, you can use GitHub events. Uh, so this includes things like pull request, uh, merging into a particular branch. Um, you can target particular files. Um, you can ignore certain files uh, when changes are made. Um, you can do a workflow dispatch. Uh, which is a manual trigger. So you can manually trigger this workflow. Um, you can do uh, a cron-like expression, so it'll run periodically. And what's really nice is you can do a combination of these. Uh, so if you want to support a cron, a manual trigger, um, a pull request, uh, you can define all these different triggers uh, for your workflow. As for Hello World, we're just going to do a workflow dispatch. And basically, this is going to enable the GitHub UI for us to run this workflow uh, manually. And so the last component we need to define is going to be our jobs. Uh, so if you remember, a GitHub workflow is made up of one or many jobs. And your jobs are going to be uh, what is executed um, when this workflow runs. Um, so you can just think of your job as the overall um, piece, the overall component that will be executed. Then inside your job, you can define multiple things that you want to happen um, when it runs. And so we need to provide a name for our job. So we're just going to say print hello world. And then for your job, you need to define the runtime that will be ran uh, when your code is executed. Uh, so this is uh, going to be like your operating system. Uh, so it could be like Ubuntu, uh, and you could define your version. So you could do like latest, or you could pen it to a specific version. Um, you could, if you're doing like Mac specific builds, you could do a Mac operating system. So you have the tools you need uh, when this runs. Uh, so this is defined by runs on Ubuntu latest. And then you need to define your steps. So these are the actual items that will run um, and that we define. Uh, so we just do steps. And then so each step will generally have like a name, an ID, run if you're executing uh, particular commands. Uh, if you're using third party GitHub actions, uh, you would say uses. Um, you can use the with keyword to include environment variables or um, variables to the third party action um, uh, for each step. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a name. Just going to call it say hello. And then we're going to do run. And we're just going to go ahead and execute echo hello world. And we'll go ahead and save. All right. Oh, and before we push our code, uh, we just need to fix our folder name. Uh, so we're just going to change this to workflows. And then what we just need to do is commit our code and push it up to the repository. All right, so now that we've committed our code, uh, we'll come back to the GitHub UI. 
And so uh, if you refresh the page, you should see your GitHub workflows uh, file uh, folders uh, with your Hello World YAML uh, file. And so if you come to the Actions tab, uh, you should see uh, now the workflows defined here uh, for your repository. And so one thing to note is your view uh, may be different uh, than what you see on my screen here. And the reasons for that is GitHub on the Actions tab will detect any of the workflows that exist in your main branch and any workflows that you've run uh, previously before. Uh, so in the main branch, uh, we have all of the completed workflow files, um, so that's why they're showing up here. And so what you'll want to do is go ahead and click on Hello World, uh, since that's the workflow we just worked on, and you'll want to go ahead and execute the code from there. If you are working from like the uh, Hello World start or end branches or the course start, and that's where you committed your code, you'll want to make sure you target that branch when you execute. And what GitHub should do is it should recognize that file exists and allow you to execute it from that branch. Uh, as an example, if we go to start here, you'll see it doesn't exist, but on the end it does, so now we can run that workflow. All right, so if we go ahead and click on Hello World, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on Run Workflow. And what this will do, this is going to go ahead and queue up our workflow to uh, run on the public GitHub runners. Uh, so we got to wait for GitHub to have uh, an available uh, task to go ahead and take and execute our code. And so you'll see here, one hand executed. Uh, so we can go ahead and click on our workflow um, to view the results. So here on the summary page, uh, we're going to see the jobs that were executed. Uh, so remember, we only have the one, the print Hello World. Uh, so if we click on the job, we can view the details of what was done. And so uh, GitHub will always have two uh, steps that are included in all uh, jobs that are run. One is the setup and the other one's the teardown, so the completing of the job. Uh, so the setup will go ahead and install like the operating system. So Ubuntu, the latest at this time, and it's a virtual environment GitHub token um, and prepare everything to go. And then it'll start executing your steps. Uh, so far steps, we only had run echo hello world. And so you'll see it executed that code and so we see hello world. And then the cleanup will go ahead and clean up any uh, remaining items uh, from the, the job. All right, and you just created your first uh, GitHub workflow.